So we are going to solve a typical uh, important scenario basically. So let's try to understand, you know, how we are going to achieve this actually. So this is the input and output is expected as like uh, one and then A, one and then B. Okay, so we have a string of, uh, you know, alphanumeric values basically with comma separated. This is a string of these things, right? Numeric and, uh, you know, string, one line, uh, one uh, character string. And the output we have to do is like, we have in a separate record, okay, one followed by each of these, okay? So every uh, occurrence of this non-numeric, uh, you know, string will have a new record. Similarly, after 1C, there will be a 2D, and so on, the last record will be 3I. Okay. So this is a typical, ex, uh, you know, requirement basically. So I have achieved this uh, requirement uh, in two ways. So first I have targeted is using the different components, you know, the sequence of components I have used and then I tried to achieve this uh, in output. Second solution is using the transform based solution, meaning within a single, uh, you know, transform function or component, I have used, you know, inbuilt functions, vectors and all, and try to achieve the same similar kind of results. Okay. Using the a minimum possible component. Here I use all components. I mean, the uh, for each and every components, there is a separate task to do in succession. And finally, we are going to achieve the output. Okay. So I think we have understood the requirement. This is a alphanumeric string. Single string, we are going to read it using the record. Uh, new line as a let's say we can we could have multiple records such records right and uh, we are going to read this is as a string and then what we are going to do is like let's see what we are going to do so for a high level you know so i have tried you know using these uh, number of components and all so okay first we will have input file, then I'm going to normalize it. Okay, because I know that I need to achieve multiple record from a single record, we know that we have seen it, right from one record, we are going to achieve the multiple, right? Therefore, we are we, there will be a normalization for sure. So therefore, with first component, I'm using the normalization, and then I will scan it. Okay. And then there will be one more scan. And then finally, there will be output. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say key value group and all line that we are going to understand. First, we are going to read it from a new line string. Okay. And then we are going to normalize it. And then again, I'm going to scan it. Right. And then we are going to see how we are going to do it. Now let's see the solution. Let me ex uh, zoom it. So let's see the solution actually. Okay. Now uh, from the input file, there will be a record format, which is a new line string. And then I think this is simple first step. We have, we have read the info into the ab initio and then, 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 then there will be a, another scan component after this scan component we will have a vector output right okay not vectored output we will have output like this after scan we will have output like uh, not like this we will have output like this okay let's say i call it as a st string okay so we will have output like this 
after scan then there will one more scan i mean sorry uh, after the normalization i will have this one i need to scan it why i need to scan it like what i need to achieve in the scan is somehow i want to assign a single group for these many records and another group for these many record and another next group is for these many record that's what my goal is so that therefore i am passing all the records from a scan function so that i would assign one one uh, single group or single you know identifier to these many record first four record one identifiers so that i can group it later point in time okay now let's see how we are going to do it so let's do the scan uh, expense uh, transform expansion okay i need to do the key change function my key change function would do is like whenever there is an integer then there is a new group we can see right so whenever there is an integer so i would call it as a new group always this is the um, this is the property of this kind of data set right we can see it so as long as we am going to receive this uh, uh, numeric and uh, non numeric right characters so i am in the same group else i would be in the next group whenever i am getting the numeric i you know after the type casting if i if, if i could validate is a integer then i am in the next group so that's what in the key change function is that's where the key change function what i am going to do is i want passing the sorted input true key method is key change function that is going to be my parameter properties of the scan component i am going to declare a global variable and within global variable i would be assigning the group okay so if i do this right so i would be assigning valid valid whenever what is the valid right null if error is valid integer if i could if i could type cast the input into an integer then valid is not null right so in whenever whenever i am you know incrementing group or if group is not null then only i am going to assign it as a key change otherwise not when it is invalid is only and only whenever there is an integer value so if you do this uh, thing your output would be like you group is null or not so right if valid is null then group is null otherwise group is not null right so in that way we will assign the key change and when the key change happens group is assigned from the beginning right so i am i am incrementing the group basically so after the this scan if you do this you will have this kind of output in the group you will have first zero and then for the second key group you will see one and for the third key group you will see the two zero one and two okay so we have achieved the target right we have we could assign the particular group for these four records and second group for these next four records and third group is for next three records so that way we whatever we have targeted right so we have could achieve it using the different uh, assignment for group and what is the definition of the group is like from the grp and the manipulation of these grp is according to the key change functions right group i am assigning grp right and i am incrementing grp 
whenever the key change happens. If the key change happens, I'm assigning GRP plus one. Otherwise, my GRP is same. As long as valid is null, I'm assigning GRP is equal to GRP. Otherwise, if it is not null, then I'm incrementing it. And this GRP is going to be assigned to the scan. And then there will be an assignment finally in the group and str so if you do this if you pass your data from this transformation scan term transformation you will achieve this and then there will be a one more scan in that we will be uh, what is our target is like what is the, so the target is like for the first group my you know i would do is like i need to assign this one i would be creating a vector okay and my output from this would be like so i'm my output is group key and value okay key would be like uh, one always and value is abc you don't consider this group field so we will be discarding this field later point in time so our achieve uh, our target is to achieve this uh, let's say this one so i'm going to achieve is like so i'm going to use the expanded scan so my temporary type is key well and count okay in the initialize function, I'm going key value is you know whatever we are assigning as a string. Okay, string is like this one. Whatever I'm going to read it, and the scan function I'm going to assign count as count plus one always, and key value is equal to the temporary key value. And in within the finalize the group is just just a number so i'm going to ultimately discard this information but key would be like temp dot key value whatever key value i'm getting and value is going to be the in dot str value is like uh, value is like whatever i'm going to do in in dot str so i will have I would have in that way I will be receiving so before the output select okay before the output select I will have a, you know for a each key group there will be a four record okay for one there will be a, this kind of record would be there right uh one and one and for similarly for two there will be two two that record right so if i do output select in the output set if i do out dot group not equal to one only those record i need to pass then first record will be omitted and the rest of the desired record would be resultant into the output so if you pass your input this input through this scan function within this uh, configuration you will have this kind of output okay so if you look at this values right 1a 1b 1c 2b d right if you look at these output we you have the desired output okay that's what we have decided right we wanted this output and we have achieved this output so we we needed like we have what we have decided in the beginning normalize and then scan and then another scan first scan is to uh, to decide the you know to group the to indicate as an indicator to have a group and second scan is to have the desired output within the expanded transform function okay so this is the first uh, component based solution and uh, in the next 
session we are going to achieve is using the transform functions basically what we are going to do is like what we would need one component and then we are going to receive the same result we will uh, manipulate using the inbuilt uh, functions and we will have a same result thank you so much